Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gospel Drum, an African Gospel Online production. On today's edition of our program, we went all the way to Africa to bring to you two of the pioneers of African Gospel music. They are here in the house to share with us their testimony. So don't you go away, we will be right back. Hi, my name is Gilles Scholz, a Sierra Leonean gospel artist. You are watching Gospel Drum. I have a joy, the joy of salvation, the joy of deliverance, the joy of salvation. I have a joy, the joy of salvation, the joy of deliverance, joy every day. I have a joy, the joy of salvation, the joy of deliverance, the joy of salvation. I have a joy, the joy of salvation, the joy of deliverance, joy every Welcome back to our program. My name is Josephine Atanga. On this very special edition of our program, we went all the way to Nigeria and we fetched out the legendary duet, Voice of the Cross. They are in the house, Reverend Emmanuel and Reverend Lazarus. They're here to share their testimony with us for over four decades that they have been singing. Reverend Lazarus, you are welcome to Gospel Drum. Thank you, Sister Jo. Hello, viewers. And next to him is Reverend Emmanuel. Bless you all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah. Yeah. We are just so excited that you're part of our program. Yeah. 
Amen. And remember the last time you came to our show, you said you were not going to sing unless your partner was in the house. And today he's in the house. That's right. Hallelujah. And you, 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 I mean, you're, not, you're not escaping from this today. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we're really, really excited that you're part of Gospel Drum today. Thank you very and like much. I said, we are going to just have fun and fellowship in the Lord. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. Um, look at um, your name. The title of your duet group is uh, Voice of the Cross. Mm -hmm. huh. Who came up with that name? <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Um, the name is a brainchild of one servant of God, a pastor called Brother Davison or Pastor Davison DK. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I love the name Voice of the Cross. It's very, very inspirational. And uh, you both have been singing for getting to four, getting to, getting to four decades, Correct. getting to 40 years. Correct. You have been singing. We want to know more. How did it all begin? Okay. Reverend Emmanuel, I pose that question to you. <laughs> How did you meet this uh, great man of God? <laughs> and you both have bonded so well for over 40 years. All right. Just like <laughs> he was trying to stretch out, you know, um, it all happened from a church called Equa Church. Yes. That was where we were members of the church. And uh, fortunately, we joined as choristers, as a choir. Um, lately, after I must have been in the choir for some time, as a result of my partner wasn't opportune at that very time, but at a time, as God will have it, from that choir, we formed a quotate group. You know, that quartet group was normally known as the Negro Singers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At the time, when this name came up, the reverend in charge of the church was a kind of a skeptical, saying this name, it doesn't sound so spiritual. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said he doesn't feel much comfortable with that name at the time. I liaised with uh, one of the pioneers of the group, the quartet group, and now we decided to change his name as Voice of the Cross. Uh -huh. And then, after some time, my partner now had the opportunity to come and join the choir. Remember I told you from the choir we got that quartet group. Mm -hmm. And from the choir we continue singing and discovered that he has a unique voice. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah, he has yes. a unique voice. By then, he was not a treble singer. He was at the back singing bass. You know, sometimes his bass? voice sounds his voice sound you kidding that me? <laughs> <laughs> he has the bass voice. Wow. And at the time, you know, it changes. Uh -huh. So w that's why it becomes a, a kind of a special, special voice gift Amen. from God. Yes. Amen. So now um, I became interested to say since uh, the quartet group is trying to is ki kind of dwindling, you know, as a result of some of the members, uh, some got married, some now went to the Bible school and uh, I was all left alone. Then, as God will have it, when I called him, I said, I would like us to try and sing duet mm -hmm. and see how it will look like. Yes, yes. Since now, I'm all left alone. So let's just rehearse a song and see how uh, it will come out. And Reverend Mom, uh, Lazarus, when he called you, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, it was just a kind of <laughs> development in the choir one day like that, you know. Uh -huh. So um, the moment he experienced what I got, yes, which was amazing even to the choir master and to the members of the choir then. Mm -hmm. Then after the choir practice, then we went to rehearse actually. Uh -huh. So, but to cut the long story in a short form, we decided in the process to adopt this name uh, I, I remember somewhere along the line, I wanted to 
bring another name. So, uh, <laughs> you know, for a change. Yes. So, you know. And we went through all that, but finally we decided to adopt this name. Amen. Like I said, it was the brainchild of this brother, uh, Pastor uh, Davison DK. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. who went to Bible college and others, like he said, um, they were not there for him. Mm -hmm. So he was like just being alone. Mm -hmm. So me coming in at that time, and then we made this decision. And then we took off from there. It was an amazing thing. Very, very interesting. Amen. The church we went on wildfire the first day we ministered Hallelujah. in the church. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I mean, even right up to this moment, yeah. the churches are still getting on fire <laughs> when both of you sing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank Amen. You, Amen. Amen. I mean, the, I mean, the blend is just, I, I would say it is from the Lord. Yes, The way both of you have blended. It is. And you have stood the test of time. Mm -hmm. And I know that a lot of African gospel, or a lot of musicians, when ones have become so popular, they dwindle away from gospel mm -hmm. and get into secular music. Mm -hmm. So what made you both stay with gospel music? Okay, <laughs> let me come in and take that answer. The point is that we are saved. Yes. And when you are saved by the Lord, there's no how you can do anything something else outside the Lord. Amen. You have to promote the Lord <laughs> that saved you, delivered you, blessed you. Mm -hmm. You have to glorify him. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yes, I, I mean, I, I understand that, you know, but a lot of people are like gospel musicians. They are saved. They are sanctified. They want to glorify the God. They want to glorify the Lord. But somewhere along the line, they feel like, you know, there's no money in the gospel music. I'm just going to switch and go where the money is. But you, despite the money, money or no money, you stood right there. Reverend, do you have anything to add as far as that <laughs> is concerned? <laughs> yeah, what, what happened? You see, uh, it's like something you have made a decision. Yes. Commitment. Amen. And uh, you decided even, for example, when we started newly, we even refused being paid by the people that took the contract, you know, to mm. wax our record for the first time. Mm -hmm. We rejected <laughs> that we wouldn't get paid. You know, they said, why? Amen. Even Lose it this. went all the way, <laughs> you know, us uh -huh. going to the pastor to acquire from him or to ask him, is this from the Lord? Is this not a <laughs> canal if we start <laughs> receiving money from? the spiritual gift the Lord has given to us. <laughs> yes. At the time he said, well, it doesn't make any, there, there is no problem if that gift comes because mm -hmm. it's just the blessing of God that we should mm -hmm. receive whatever we, we got from the gospel, you know. So uh, that made us to make up our mind to receive whatever is give, being given to us, even when we go for outing or something like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's because we originally know the commitment and the dedication mm -hmm. and what it meant to answer the call of God. It's a Amen. call. Amen. We see Amen. it as a call. Hallelujah. That's why Hallelujah. we have not deviated or really Amen. have anything Amen. that will distract our attention as far as the call is concerned. Mm. Hallelujah. It's a call. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's a calling. It's mm. a ministry and your mm. vision. Ha you've stayed focused in your vision and your ministry. Mm. Amen. That's why I say you have stood the test of time. Because too many musicians, especially African gospel musicians, the gospel musicians, they have fallen, you know, stayed out, they've gone out of your vision. But I'm really proud of both of you because you've gone through challenges, you've gone through trials, and you're still standing firm. Oh my God, God bless you both. Thank and you. The, I'm wondering, what was that moment like, you know, the first day you went to the studio to try to record? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that's a good experience. Um, in those amazing. days. Yes, in those days. Yes. The, the, the Spirit of God was with us in the studio. Mm. And I can remember too well that we went into the studio for the first time. We stood there and rendered 32 songs. Wow. 32 songs that was divided into eight songs per one album. Mm. Yeah, the first four albums were made in uh you know it it songs so mm -hmm. and uh, two we are released and it was amazing we experienced the power of god in the studio Hallelujah. and even the producer the um the organist <laughs> himself though both of them are dead now they are late now mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. but of blessed memory so they were, it, it was amazing Hallelujah. the glory of god was there 
And so we came out and was like, what did we do? Hmm. W there's no other way to define it than to say the, it, it was God. Amen. And it is him up till this moment. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Was there something special that you did before going to the studio? Did you fast for like 40 days or 40 nights? I mean, yeah, what made songs, it special? The, the, the songs in themselves were inspirational. Amen. So you cannot but sing the song Hallelujah. and glorify God. Mm -hmm. Evan, uh, you know, salvation songs, mm -hmm. edifying songs, Hallelujah. restoration songs, Hallelujah. deliverance songs, Hallelujah. you know, but whether they were in Igbo or in English. In too. English. So you can find anyone, you know, motivating you and encouraging you, putting you on the line, going before the Lord, mm. just listening to those songs. Amen. Yes. Amen. And you, I mean, I remember in those days I was so young I used to just enjoy your music we would sing it you know I, we were so blessed voice of the cross I mean it became like a wildfire in Cameroon Praise God. if you did not listen to voice of the cross means you've not listened to gospel music All right. and here I am seated you know sitting with both of you mm -hmm. and talking with you about what happened in those days Amen. to God be the glory Amen. hallelujah Amen. and Amen. that anointing it's still there God. What is it that keeps you both going? <laughs> As a duet. Okay. Um, in fact, uh, I will say, when you listen even to the music, you that is singing it, you'll be convinced that this is just from God. Amen. Because uh, I could remember that many people attempted mm -hmm. to join us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There has been many attempts to join us, and we even gave that room. But you did? And they at, turned at, it down? At, <laughs> at the long run, <laughs> it was all to no avail because mm. the, 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 the third party and the fourth party, they couldn't cope up or were not harmonizing at all. Mm, mm, so, mm. And they themselves witnessed it and <laughs> said, I better leave these people <laughs> alone because this is this is of the spirit of God. And there's no how they mm -hmm. can withstand, you know. They couldn't withstand it. Mm -hmm. And that is why, you know, since uh, God uh, decided to use us and it blends, mm -hmm. we have been moving along without any problem. Amen. Yeah, Amen. It's, just the making, uh, it's just the making of God. I think you should still try and see if you can, you know, Maybe do with some people, you know, <laughs> things change. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, we are going to take a little break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, gospel music. Has it deviated from what it used to be 40 years ago? So we will be right back. Don't you go away. Hi, my name is Gile Scholes, a Sierra Leonean gospel artist. You are watching Gospel Drum. Welcome back to Gospel Drum. In case you're just joining in with me in the studio is the legendary duet, Reverend Lazarus and Reverend Emmanuel from Boys of the Cross. Reverend, let us talk about the African gospel music. Do you think that it has changed from what it used to be when you started singing? Uh, definitely watching the trend of music, um, both in terms of lyrics, style, and in every other aspect, we could see a change. In our evaluation and assessment, one will say, yes, there is a change. But it depends what the change is all about. Mm -hmm. But the point is that the Bible says that Jesus is the same today. Yesterday, um, I take it again. The Bible says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. His word never changes. Hallelujah. Jesus never changes. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what changes is our method of carrying the message of God. You're right. So that's right. what has changed. And also people's motive have changed within the years. So a lot of people get into gospel music now with one motive or the other. So it, it, it is, so everybody have to check why you are into mm -hmm. gospel music. Mm -hmm. You have to check your motive. If you are singing because you are saved, 
because you've been delivered, mm -hmm. because you know you are a child of God, and you are going to make heaven. Hallelujah. You are an eternal life candidate. So then you got to stay put in it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but if you are just singing just to make the money in it, hmm. or because now, mm -hmm. you know, we talk about proliferation. Now, gospel singers are rising, the, some that call themselves new breed and all that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. but however, it, it's good that uh -huh, we uh -huh. have people rising up, yes. you know, taking up. Um, but the point is that there is a footstep, there's a precept. There's a statue. Mm -hmm. There's an orderliness because yes. God is not utter of confusion. Hallelujah. So when that changes affect the word of God, mm -hmm. that's where we we'll look at it and say, mm, everybody sit back now, back up a little and see, mm -hmm. check mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what brought the change. If that change is for promotion or for good or for bad, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you. Amen, amen, amen. You know, I'm listening to you talk. You know, I am sitting here and I'm wondering. Uh, you talked about motive. You talked about uh, reasons why people are singing. I am wondering, you know, we have a look. I'm looking at other traits, you know, in this world. You as a teacher, you go through training. You as a pastor, you go through Bible school. You know, uh, artists, you know, in terms of, I know there are some music school, but most, I would say most African gospel musicians they don't go through training, and they actually don't prepare you for the ministry that, you know, that is ahead of you. You know, what do you think, you know, could be done to help, you know, the African gospel musicians prepare to face the ministry that is ahead of them after they have, you know, gone through the studio to produce their, their CD? Yeah, um, I think uh, the major problem they are facing is uh, they are trying to be competitive. Mm. So when one comes up and see what the other person did, mm. he would like to do topple that very person that did the one he did already. Mm. By so doing, it's now becoming mechanical. It's no longer, there is no longer f the spiritual feelings. Yes. Yes. And uh, the anointing doesn't flow mm. because you want to make your own one of the best. And by making it one of the best, now it becomes the worst one spiritually. It doesn't have the background spiritually. So I... But Reverend, I don't believe that trying to make my work to be one of the best should be a problem. Yeah, that, that, that what I'm saying is they now lose the spiritual ah, okay. aspect of I the whole I get you, thing. yes. They make it look so refined, so um, they modernize it, mm. and uh, try to even their lyrics, they try to change their original voice God has given to them, and try to, you know. The older tone? <laughs> form, form it like, maybe try to be an American. Ah. By so doing, people will now know that you are trying to is now artificial you are not trying to be yourself mm. so you don't allow the spirit of god to flow through you mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you just want to as you know to modernize it mm. it's there's nothing wrong in modernizing something thank you there's nothing thank wrong you in it, thank you you see <laughs> i like to be myself amen hallelujah to bring it exactly how if you call it raw, I don't mind. But as long as the, the, the Spirit of God, the anointing the is there. The power of God is there. I've seen many men of God, you know, God using them to raise the dead, to pull mountains. Mm -hmm. But they are not all that educated. Yeah. So sometimes when you now try to make it, let people, the listeners, let them say, oh, this guy, he, he's really an orator. He speaks and Intellectual. Like, then sometimes you don't allow the Spirit of God mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. get hold of you or something like that. So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. where I'm much concerned about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing is trying to commercialize it. Okay. Trying to commercialize it. Some people feel like there's a song I was singing now. People may not like it. Mm. It may not sell. 
But you can discover that any picture you balance very well to take, sometimes is always the worst picture. Mm. But when you just stay anyhow, just naturally or something like that, mm -hmm. take a picture, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing wrong in balancing to take a picture. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to let you know what's going on. So what I feel is if they will remove having a mind for this record to sell, I want it to sell. But, you know, depend on the message they are trying to pass across. Mm -hmm. Not minding if it will sell or not. And then God will take the glory. And when you lift up the name of God, when you really involve God in the whole business, mm -hmm. God will now speak to the heart of the people that normally list him. Mm -hmm. And people will be moved to buy it. And mm -hmm. the other aspect of blessing you, we are expecting from elsewhere. Oh. It mm -hmm. will come direct will from come. God. It's It'll God come. that makes Hallelujah. that word Hallelujah. Hallelujah. to germinate in Amen. the soul of people. Amen. That's it. Amen. Like I, I heard one, one, one uh, pastor who is a musician from Ethiopia. He said, uh, he said once, he said, you know what? We as musicians, what we need to pray for is to pray for the anointing. Because if you stand out to sing and somebody gets healed, uh, somebody going through some problems, you know, the problem is being resolved, or maybe a dead person rises, you know, you don't need to ask the people to give you money. Automatically, that person that has been healed will bless you as far as the anointing and the power of God is there. So like you rightly said, don't worry about the money. You should worry about the power that is in the music that is going out to transform lives. Because when once that life is transformed, obviously, every other thing will be added. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Reverend, what do you think? Yeah, um, I think what we are trying to hit at is to make sure that we are real. We are not faking. Amen. And the, the, the gospel we preach is not fake. Is real gospel. Hallelujah. God is real. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. he doesn't change like a hymn writer said, God doesn't change like changing years. Mm -hmm. All right. So he's still the same and his word is still the same. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So be genuine, be original, and be yourself. Be who you are called to be Amen. in the Lord and do the things for God. David stayed, you know, he played guitar, mm -hmm. he composed songs. And um, he sang, and he also danced. Everything, every move of David was to the glory of God. Mm -hmm. That even when Saul had problem, then Saul could only get healing when David began to minister in song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and um, if I may add something later, the first time we, uh, I and my brother Emmanuel sang in um, Equa conference, in the year 1974, mm -hmm. 11th to 14th of uh, April. That year we started, 1974. Mm. It was on a Saturday like this. So after, it was just like play recording, you know. Uh -huh, we just uh -huh. went and sang. And then the next program was hospital visitation. Mm -hmm. So some of the brethren that had our songs recorded in their cassette, went and played it to the nearby hospital. Mm. That was exactly Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Omaha. I think right now it's called, um, it's called uh, uh, Federal, um, Federal Medical Center, Medical FMC. Center. FMC. All FMC. right. So, but in those days, the name was Queen Elizabeth Specialist Hospital. Yes. Then from Queen Elizabeth Special to Ramat Special Hospital, and then the recent name is, is there. So, but our story is that when this song we are playing in that hospital the station, some of the sick people, you know, got here Hi. listening to the song. Mm -hmm. So the brethren that went on that hospital came back and announced it to 